we're back to our old friend, the USG Ishimura, where blood and gore has been replaced with this fucking tarp plastic shit. That's such a big conglomerate thing to do. Yeah. Hey, you know, just fucking tarp it up. Oh, shit. Holy fuck. Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. I thought for some stupid fucking reason. But now that you did it, you learned a little. I learned... You learned a little I learned bit. more than nothing. So right before we were set to go, I said, do you know your loadout? You said, I guess. Yeah, I got it. I got it big time, man. I know exactly what I'm doing. Uh, oh, you could also conversely say, welcome back to EA Ruined It. Oh, the new one. We played a game Fight. called A Robot Named Fight uh, yeah. earlier. Yes, we'll be talking about that. And so, it's, so it's got a big flesh moon in yeah, it. Yeah, you fought the super beast, huh? Yeah, the yeah, mega that thing's beast. horrible. I don't know who the hell needs a whole roll of toilet paper to wipe their ass, but I'm gonna kick their ass. It's the fifth week in a row some jackass clogged the toilets. We're in space for crying out loud. Plumbing gets jacked. Someone has to spacewalk and get a helmet full of clapped crap to clean it up. Knock it off! So I have two things I can immediately talk about in regards to that. One, yeah. One, you'll totally be like, oh yeah, I know oh, that, yeah. bro. I know that. Like, I was in a hotel recently, and it's like, sorry, we need more toilet paper sent up. We went through it all, and it's horrifying to have to say that. Yeah, I shit everywhere. And the other two, and the other thing is, did you read that thing today about the, oh. about the fat bird? I in, heard about in, the in fat bird. I heard it. See, all London does is wash wipes. And nappies, grease, and, uh, yeah, nappies like wet ones, oil and grease down their drains 24/7. That's what they do to keep themselves entertained. When they may have created like a football-sized field nappy fat deposit. That's a few ton, just a few tons short of a blue whale's mass. Good job, London. Whoopsie doodles, London. Sounds like that's not very classy at all. <laughs> Pip pip. So if I remember correctly, this is where we stood and saw the very first person get horribly murdered by a necromorph. Precious memory. And then we ran down here down to the elevator and the necromorph got killed by the elevator. Yeah, what a, what a loser. Precious memories indeed. Ah, and it was because I did the diagnostic report. This is one of my favorite levels in anything. It's the Shimura in general. This room. I absolutely adore, like the second or third game backtrack to the place. Oh yeah, like Shadow Moses. Yeah, this. That's all I can think of right now. It's quite rare. Oh, well, I, I guess Code Veronica. A, a bit. little bit. When you go, well, when I meant when like the layout's similar to the Spencer Mansion. Uh, the well, they they a lot of them do that kind of, but they're not similar enough. Mm. Uh, but so you saw that that haunted ladder that was directly to your left. I did was see fucking it. Wigged out. I assume because of physics. Haunt that fucker. And not some type of programming curse. Hmm. But the the with the with the Ishimura, it's great because they they picked. I'll hold on. Nicole's yeah. talking. That's nice, Nicole. So Nicole taking some of her speeches from the liner notes of Papa Roach CDs. It's true. But, uh, That's what the scary. fuck was I gonna say? Right, they picked all the parts of Dead Space that you're the most likely to remember to actually funnel you through. Yeah, like, okay. I don't think we're gonna fucking send us down to the goddamn boring engineering section parts. Yeah, or like... Or the or food bank or whatever. Whatever that didn't have a memorable scare. No, it's like, the, it's like the first two levels. Like and this, this is the spot. And you're also wearing not like the Dead Space 1 thing, but at least something that Brock's Like this is the spot, in. and you can still... See a bit of it. They didn't you wash see, it off. they tried to take some wipes and wipe it a little bit, and they didn't do that. They didn't even do a good job. But I, I think the Nish uh, Ishimura, sometimes I say Nishimura when I don't mean to, but the Ishimura like, would be decommissioned forever. Wasn't it already old as shit? Or wasn't it like the It's latest? the first Planet Cracker. Oh, so then it was like it's probably. the first one. Ah, she did a lot of cracking in her day, but now it's time to, to fucking retire her. Retire that old bitch. Yeah, she's taking her fair share of planet meat. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious planet meat. Yeah. 
Alright, so I've done all the damages on all my weapons. So now, I'm just gonna save up these so power now you notes. Can just quit the LP. Basically. I saw a comment- Whoa! I saw a comment on me when I was playing a fucking, uh, what was it? What's that game? Prey. The new Prey? Yeah. And somebody put a comment and said, Pat, why the fuck do you keep upgrading guns that you never fire? And I'm like, Well, for when you do need to When fire I them. do need them. Maybe I'll need it later. The most disabling fucking OCD sentence ever in video games. But I, I think, like, uh, even if there's a... Well, I mean, I have to really dislike the weapon to not upgrade it at all. Like, there might be one character action game where I'm like, I'll never use that. Yeah. And, but I'll still upgrade the... Like, I don't care damage. for the Nevin in 3, uh, Don't say, Make Cry 3. I was gonna say the... Well, no, I like the Nevin. I don't... What's the fucking Rose thing? The bro. No, sorry. Oh, uh, Lucifer. Don't make right four. And four. So I love. So this is this is actually Matt. We've said it before, but the Ishimer is the best example. This place has a bio curse. Straight up. People who come to work on the ship have horrible nightmares they can't get rid of. Yeah. Because and that's that's literally both things. It oh. is. It's, it's a biological thing and like a haunted thing. We should totally think up a game idea for bio like curse. bio curse. Bio curse is a good name. It is a good name. Because like you know there is that Resident Evil thing that came out recently, vaccine, and or that Dead Mare 1998 thing that they were trying to make the RE2 remake, and then Capcom was like, no. You won't be doing any of that. We're doing but that. But we will help you a little bit. There was a monster project. right here where this bloodstain like was. It doesn't need to be a bloodstain. It just looks like a creepy crawly monster hole. And those games are just straight up. We're Resident Evil. We're just Resident Evil. Yeah, I'm a Resident Evil game. Go on. It's Hendrix. Did you come in last shift? Did anyone? We all slept in. It's just me down here now. I got lost last night when the lights went out and I fell down the ramp. <laughs> I think, or someone tricked me. I'm all bruised on my left side and my ankle is swollen. Are you sure you guys aren't down here? I, I hear something near my locker. Screw this! I'm heading up! I'm never coming back here again! So, cause some people have asked me, why do you keep saying that? What does that mean? A Bumble King is that guy. That guy right there. He, he was in a dangerous situation, but didn't get attacked. Or anything. He just kind of fucked up. He owned himself and just bumbled into a whole bunch of trouble and is now even worse off than he was before, despite the fact that his environment or any enemies had nothing to do with it. They didn't need to do anything. So, oh man, this it's been quite some time. So, what I like about this is that they oh, fucking, they, they remix the environment to fuck with you because, like, I, I haven't fought any enemies. Yeah. I remember the layout of the Ishimura. Like, pretty well, I think. So, I'm getting comfortable, right? So then I turn a corner, and I find this fucking brand new fucking hallway made out of plastic. And I remember that this is a train hallway that you went on the bottom, and it's the first one that you fought the crawler guys, and to the left was that stasis door that you had to learn how to do stasis on. But... But now they just fucking... Now it's all plastic, plastic to fuck. And, shit. and I haven't fought any goddamn enemies yet. Oh, what, come on! Why, why, in the, why in this session? How come all the physics on all objects are, like, generating the bio curse? See, and that's the, that's the door that I went through in Dead Space 1, but no, we can't go there. We have to go to the new door. Nah, nah, uh, you didn't say the magic word. I got a contact nah, beam uh, for uh, days. Nah, uh, uh, you know what's great about the contact beam? Yeah. It's so strong that you can ignore the limbs on normal enemies. You yeah, can just pop them right in the shit. chest. And now, now I get now to see, like, oh, actually, it is the train track. And I saw a monster. No, I saw a monster you, just saw, you just saw a big train. It's the train that delivers the bio curse throughout the the, the different uh, uh, hallways and sections of the Ishimura. I love throwing lighting objects. It's great. Whoa! That's scary, man. Fucking shit! So that's a contact beam boy, perhaps? Sure is. Yeah. Whoa! Looked like he was gonna attack you, but then he was like, I'm gonna explode instead. Yeah, I, I've decided that my best option is to just explode and die. You know what? Let's get a little bit of revenge. Yeah! 
Don't yeah. Let kids, don't let anyone tell you that revenge isn't the most satisfying thing in the world. Everyone who ever got revenge thought it was worth it. Yeah. Read Count of Monte Cristo. At the end, he's kind of empty, but that's because he doesn't have any more revenge to do. Yeah. In Death Wish, he loved getting revenge on oh, those man. guys. Oh, man, he loved it. I think in Death Wish 2. He's like, I really want to put my family in more danger. Yeah. So that, well, my any remaining elements of my family. I bet Voldemort felt really good when he did any revenging. Yeah. Oh, now, that guy's real far away. Insanely so, actually. And I bet you Harry Potter felt really good when he, when he uh, hurt um, Bellatrix. After she did a bad thing. I, I don't even might, know who the fuck that is. Uh, it's, okay, I'll tell you instantly and you'll be like, right, it's a Helena Bottom Carter. He loves getting revenge on her. See? She, she, she's just Helena Bottom Carter. She was born for that role. There's another bad boy. Oh, that's nothing. He's very scary. Don't make fun of him. He's trying his best. He is trying, I guess. There he tried. So my worry is, Whoa. yeah. That's my worry. So I'm also quite on edge because I saw It. You did, huh? Yeah. And there's a scene where It just runs down the hallway super fast screaming <laughs> like it's horrible. Hey, look at that. Oh my Whoa, god. Do a flip, Necro! You could put Necro from, um... Necrid, Necrid! Oh, you could yeah. put Necrid in this game and you wouldn't bat an Up against eye. any of these guys, you my put, Necrid's got yeah, this. Yeah, you could put Starkiller in here and you'll just blast him and then just forget about it. Oh, man, I got removed from canon because I'm the worst! <laughs> was it you or was it some other motherfucker? It was, was me. Like, yeah. It was me that, was that like, did, did that. Did you know that they're gonna put, they were gonna put Starkiller in movies and it was like... And then everyone's like... That's nothing. You know what? That's what they said. I don't care. Like, I'm glad George Lucas at least gave us, like, smacking Darth Maul and Darth Talon together in action figure four and saying they should be friends. Yeah. That's the greatest gift he ever gave anybody. Anyone. It's the so craziest. Amazing. Oh, look. A fancy little node. Yeah. Don't mind if I do. Now, couldn't they have a node box like that? And then just put a big necro dick or arm yeah, coming dude. out of it. Burst right the fuck out. Big old necro dick. So in the the White Day remake, there's a gimmick where you can get a lot of items and lockers. But but there's a there's an actual haunted story that's told in the school saying a woman got scrunched up and like her body smushed into a locker. Like a locker that was way too small to hold a human. Of course. So there's a gimmick where like just be careful. Fifty percent of the time, all her eye, all her face, and all her limbs come scratching at you when you try to open up lockers. Not a fan. Yeah. Not a goddamn fan. So this this little this little interlude here, right? This little bullshit was a good way for me to fucking level skip to a cooler level, so I didn't have to go through the first half of the first level. Oh, sorry, the second half of the first level. I'm not sure if they micromanaged the coolness of this place that much. They did, because now I'm in the part of the engineering deck that I'm likely to actually remember. No, what I mean is that, like, I don't think maybe they intentionally did it. They just know that they can't... They skipped certain parts because we, we can't be spending the entirety of the first game in this game. Oh, come on. You, you, you underestimate the level of design and micromanagement that goes... The, there's a guy that maybe sits around guy, yeah. all day and goes, what if... I don't know why he's French. What if, uh... This game was made in, like, Washington or something. What if the Necromorph, he jump out of the other side of the place? That's a good idea, Ubisoft employee. Thanks. Oh, I was... Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I don't know why I talk like this. It sounds like it's an English guy pretending to be French to get a job. Oh, um... Mm. Pretend. I don't know why I'm doing it the like that. The power of imagination. Okay. I'm selling this ammo because I feel like it. Yeah. You know, I have 88,000 credits. It's a, it's a good amount. I could buy many of these. I'm going to save myself 40k. In the traditional Warhammer style. 
so that I have almost enough money to get the next suit, which should be the last suit, I believe. But I, I love those little power nodes. They're my favorite. Do you think it's bullshit, or do you think it's yeah. reasonable to say I think that it's bullshit. why does the Ishimura have power? Oh, um... Do you think it's reasonable to say, like, maybe they might keep a backup generator? I have an explanation. I'll tell you after this audio log. Okay. Dr. Heidi Latchford, Research Summary Organic Material Analysis. There are several shocking findings relating to the sludge-like material found throughout the Ishimura. First, it is human DNA. Second, and far more disturbing, it reanimates in the presence of a marker signal. The only conclusion we can come to is that the entire Ishimura crew was infected and reconstructed and then fell into a soupy DNA sludge when the Eju-7 marker was destroyed. Well, that, expl that actually explains how what happened to all the necromorphs yeah, on the ship and right. how they could even recover it. Uh, so, get this. It, it was repowered from the, the shards power supply so that the lights would be on and, and the outlets would work when they were trying to fix it up. Yeah. Send it back out. I'm, I'm fine with like those uh, like construction lights on that are pointed at walls and stuff. Yeah. But like the fact that save stations. And Why would? Are open. But like, they got The ship's got to be on for them to like fix it, right? Well, I guess. But like, were they even really fixing it, or like well, they, they were at a point and doing research? They but, wouldn't be tarping it up if they didn't plan on like recommissioning. Yes, we're right. The tarping. The tarping. That's the key. So, let's just skip through that boring e engineering thing. Yeah. And come right here. Does the elevator just skip that shit? Yeah, just skip that fucking shit. Is that the fucking morgue? Uh... No, it's not. No. It's a decontamination room. Oh, this fucking room! Same thing. Just like last time! Wow, look at the V-Sync go nuts! Man, you're, you're, you're into that. I love it. I don't know if you love it. You just point it out. I love it. You don't it. say whether you hate it or love it, except uh, for just now. So I hate it. <laughs> okay. But I can appreciate it. Hmm. It's a, it's a visual glitch. It's just a flaw. For all our viewers at home that don't know, and me, explain it a bit more. Uh, vertical sync is when the refresh rate of your uh, monitor and or television. What the fuck? Damage? Oh, Kinesis damage. Yeah, those HP ones are insanely far away. Yeah. Um, it's when the refresh rate doesn't quite sync up. Uh, along the top and bottom of your, your monitor, and uh, the image gets thrown at it and displays wrong. So the top frame will be slightly off from the bottom frame, and it has a little cut. I think probably the best game you can look at is if you go and play Jack 2 for the PS2. It has astonishing vertical sync problems. So you throw V-Sync on, but then your frame rate could go down because it forces the refresh rate to and wait. we have V-Sync. Turned off because for some reason this game has a fucking bug in which if V-Sync is turned on it runs at 30 frames a second. Okay, that's that's that that's a my, stupid bug. That was actually my confusion. All right, uh, I don't really have a lot of duration, duration, energy. Hmm, should I upgrade my stasis? Um, hmm. I don't know. A, you don't use it that much. Only and B, rarely. And B, when you do use it, you do fine. Yeah, I'm gonna you know? I'm gonna max out the plasma cutter because. You know why? Plasma cutter's the shit. Wow, he's doing it, folks. Plasma cutter is maxed out. You did the sphere grid good. Uh, thanks, Matt. Now I would have gotten a would have gotten a bit. Oh, twenty! Holy shit! Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm a bad at. All right, so the plasma cutter will not help me here. I can switch into my ripper. You see the art of Ripper Chan. I did. I nice. did see the art. I see more Ripper Chan. But different, different versions. Just don't do an anime girl. Like sometimes do just a, a mangle of of Ripper blades and pieces of metal. All right, and here. Just put anime eyes on. Just her. throw it on there, like the shark thing. Yeah, so yeah. So there's a thing, and there's another one. Well, there's a bunch actually. Have the scary noise happen so that I don't notice the monster noise. No, nothing yet. Nothing quite yet. Oh, it worked without anything attacking me. Isn't that crazy? It is, actually. It's actually insane. You're like, oh, I forgot that this doesn't happen. That's the trick, man. It's still fooling me all these years later because something attacked you in Dead Space 1 in there. But there's nothing to attack you now. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was good. What the? 
bleh, 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 bleh. Nice try, dipshit. I just came from the cheesecake factory. Bleh. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit, a uh, little bit advanced from when enemies would get squished into the doors in Duke Nukem. Oh right man, that was so good. And there so was just good. one line of like one line of spaghetti guts. Wow. Close your plan, dead baby. I still have monsters. Whoa! See, stasis is fine. Ah, what the, what's happening? I hit the pregnant part. Okay, so like, then it triggered all the little enemies yeah. and they were making his body go nuts. That was great. You should always kill it like that. Oh, man. Great. There's another stupid baby down here. Die, baby. The ba those babies look like the baby dinosaur from the dinosaur sitcom. The Jim Henson puppet one. Was that Jim Henson, really? Yeah. Oh. Well, Jim Henson was dead when... But it was Jim Henson's company. And okay, because, like... Yeah, there were some parts of that statement that didn't make a lot of sense there, Like man. Goro from the Mortal Kombat movie is a Jim Henson monster. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Holy crap. That's cool. I think the last thing Jim Henson really... Like, as far as I know, like, I'm sure he did other stuff. But the last thing he kind of supervised was the Toka and Razor uh, costumes from Ninja Turtles 2. Really? He was like, these are cool. And then all the kids are like, why isn't it Bebop and Rocksteady? And then everyone just didn't say Don't anything. you love Toka and Razor? I do love Toka and Razor. Do I like them more than Beboop and Rooksteady? No. Teddy and Rockspin? No, oh, that's not bad. I tried. Do I, do I like them more than... Uh, this is going to be a pull. I like them more than Beboop and uh, Batman Arkham Knight. Oh, hey guys! I, I don't. G give me a sec. I think Dead Space would make for a good Broadway play. Oh no. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> There's a fucking Evil Dead Broadway play, so why can't Dead Space? Well, Evil Dead's a, a musical masterpiece. It is, but so is Dead Space. Has the it has the uh, starlight star bright thing? So yeah, Jim Henson is he will... is, a, is almost like a magical genius. Yeah. Oh man, I miss Jim Henson. Oh, did you see that new? What's this called? That fucking oh. new Kermit. Is he okay? He's I don't know. More. He should be all right. Really, motherfucker. Really. Yeah, he really like he died after that first day. I know. No, no. This is, this is kind uh. of insane. At how many yeah, yeah. monsters I'm fighting, right this second. I don't know. Like I me don't... going down the end of the hallway caused ten new guys to exist. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I remember something burst out of that. Isn't it like the worm-like thing? Yeah, it was the worm thing. Someone posted a picture, like to me, at some like fucking film museum. They have like a life-size graboid statue that they made. Did you make out with it? <gasps> Holy oh. shit! Well, I made out with the picture, but I wasn't there. You know? I'm not a weirdo. Yeah. Going down there would be weird. I make out with a wax statue of Kevin Bacon from that movie. Yeah. Because that's when he looked real nice. Get all the wax on your mouth. I don't... I'm gonna say it right now. I'm not... I don't know about you, but I'm not overly impressed slash have any desire to see wax statues of anybody. No, nah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't really get the appeal. I'm not, I know there's a ton of work and artistry that goes into it. That's fine. Yeah. But when people, like... When oh my was, god, look at this wax statue! It's when amazing! I was, when I was in L.A., it said the number one most visited thing is Madame Tussauds. And I'm like, really? Really? It's the number one visited thing? Yeah. So before the age of CG, it was crazy to have a statue that looked like a person. I guess so. I guess that's true. I guess it's a holdover from that. It's a holdover from old people that don't know how cool stuff is now. And like a lot of the times, like recently, I would think like wax statues are like 
the, the, like, they have so much new technology they could do it real well. No. But then there's that new Beyonce statue that looks like shit, and they lighten her skin to, like, incredible That, that, that Ronaldo thing is that, in that airport, is, like, the most hilarious statue that's ever been. Yeah. And fucking, I saw a statue, like, a picture of it, of, like, a, um, a Ryan Gosling, and I was like, that looks a bit shit. I thought these would, should get better over time. No. Is it explode? Yeah, it looks like it's gonna explode. So all the red ones look like they're all the beeping red ones look like yeah. they're gonna blow up. Get all so your power. I'm Is gonna just ignore powers? all of them. No, I'm gonna come on. I just want to lay down now. That's fine. Just Get lay my, down and die. Yeah, that's the Isaac way. Mm. No. Yeah, space punch. All right. The techno punch. Wait, the objective is. You gotta press something. On my here. feet. Uh, Aha! Oh yeah, the blue scare. Yeah, the centrifuge is offline. So go down. I would like to activate this centrifuge, please. The centrifuge. Why can I not activate this? Do something in the middle. Look at that. Look. Oh, oh look at all that shit. That's super important, dude. Oh man. <gasps> Damn yeah, it, that yeah, was yeah. absolutely the right button to choose. Well, oh, I know, I have- these won't explode. Yeah, this is how you'll activate it. Oh, come on. I tried to put it in. Yeah. There you go, very important, this thing. Very good Never at putting knew. it in. I bet you there's certain parts of engineering Isaac actually knows nothing to little about. Yeah. He's like- he's like he, uh, he slept during engineering school that day. Yeah. But he did really well and everything else. Well, it's, I imagine engineering is a lot like doctoring, where you go to a heart doctor and you're like, hey, there's something in my ass, and he's like, get out of my office. And he's like, unless it's a heart, I can't really fucking... There's a heart in my there. ass. Oh, okay, well, let's open her up. Okay. Let's planet crack it. I'm gonna crack it. I think you're still missing one. I'm still missing a piece. Damn, where could uh, it be? On the lower side. It's probably, like, under something. Like, right there! there. See, that thing, that thought it was gonna hide from you. But you're oh, too Man, sneaky. please, please orient yourself properly, man. It's, it's tough, like I can barely see. 